this video, we'll go over how to get started using Groove Machine. We'll look at how to set up the program and then how to find your way around it. You can download any image line product in demo mode by clicking on the link for PC or Mac. Not all products are available for both platforms. Follow the setup wizard for your system. And once installed, you can purchase and download the registration key. Then you're set to go. You can launch Groove Machine in standalone mode by clicking the image line icon. In this mode, you have a few extra controls on the very top for output level, audio and MIDI setup, and on screen keyboard and tempo control. The options window lets you set up several things. In the audio area, you can set up your driver, your interface, sample rate, and latency. Latency is the slight delay caused by the processor doing its calculations. Lower latency values are necessary for live performance, but if you dial it down too low, you may start to hear pops and clicks. Latency values around 1000 samples should be so slight that you won't notice them, but still give your computer room to work. The more powerful your PC is, the lower you can set your latency without suffering ill effects. This is also where you configure your input and output signal flow. When you open Groove Machine as a plugin, these functions are controlled by the host program. The audio menu is also where you can call up an on screen keyboard if that's easier for you to work with. Groove Machine is a what you see is what you get instrument. You only have to learn this screen, the pop up sequencer, and a couple of submenus. The major sections of Groove Machine are the transport controls, the sequencer, which doubles as a keyboard in normal mode, the effects section, the stutter control, which is a personal favorite, the tracks section, and the synth sampler module. Before we go any further, let's check out how to load up the factory presets. This is a great way to get to know Groove Machine. Just click here, pick out something that looks interesting. Then click the play control on the transport. You can also click on the different sequencer buttons to hear individual sounds. Notice how they have note names on them and alternating black and white backgrounds like a piano keyboard. Keep in mind that Groove Machine creates sounds and rhythms. It's really a complete sequencing environment. Now Groove Machine organizes rhythms by patterns, bars, and steps. And it organizes sounds by parts, channels, and notes. And when you have a set of rhythms combined with a set of sounds, it's called a groove. If you understand these terms, you'll get more out of the help documents. Finally, if you click on the help menu, and then open Help Contents, you'll see the Quick Start Guide as a PDF. You can also find more support and great ideas in the various forums and user groups. For more great software, visit the ImageLine online shop. And for more great tutorials, visit StreamWorksAudio.com.